everyone welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you some awesome dc multiverse figures yes and today we have today we have the penguin and catwoman and these are from based on their appearance in the video game batman arkham city wow very cool these are some really cool figures yeah so i always love it when they have uh the side characters um you know, and all of their details, and you get to take a look at them. Let's take a look at Catwoman. So, she's got almost like a hood with the red eyes. She's got her whip there, and she's got a piece, the torso, to the Build-A-Figure. Yes, yeah, so we're is... building Solomon Grundy. Oh, very cool. Uh, let's take a look at the back. Ooh, that's going to be the artwork for him, for Solomon Grundy. Here, she's got the torso piece. Um, but I was looking... Yeah, her collector card will have her artwork on it and uh, her data file. So we'll check that out when we get her out of her box. And then we have the, the penguin. penguin. Take a look at him. Oh, he's mad. He's an angry penguin. Yes. Um, he's got a really cool umbrella. He's got the head of Solomon Grundy and looks like a jacket. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at the back. Oh, he has the same artwork. So um, the other artwork will be his artwork and it'll be on his collector card so that's cool all right so we want to say a great big thank you to mcfarland toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today we're going to go ahead and get these uh two figures out of their boxes and give you a much closer look we'll be right back okay and we're back and they're out of their boxes so let's take a look at catwoman first um she's going to come with the torso of solomon grundy so let's take a look. We'll give you a closer look when we do the build a figure video. But anyway, there you have it. Looks like he's definitely got some bugs and some yeah. greenery growing on him. Um, anyway, there's the torso. Pretty cool. And then um, they all are going to come with these bases. I have the DC embossed in there and the peg. Uh, so they both come with those. But as you can tell, they're actually standing on their own. Yes. So that's pretty cool. All right, and let's go ahead and take out check out her collector card so there's Catwoman's collector card and I'll tell you exactly uh, right here where, where this particular Catwoman is from right from the game um, there's her data file so you can pause it if you want to read uh, Selena Kyle's backstory yes um, <clears throat> and what she's all about and let's go ahead and take a look at the figure so she's holding on to the whip and it is slightly rubbery so a little bit, uh, you know, pliable, so it's not going to break off and yeah. or anything like that. She does hold it really well, as you can see. Looks like she could, well, this this hand is a little less grippy, but she probably could hold it in that one as well. Um, anyway, she's got it held in with a thumb on this one. So I'm going to take it out of her hand, though. Let's take a look at her facial sculpt. Really cool. I haven't played the game to know if it looks exactly like... Uh, you know the 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 um, figures on the game or the characters on the game, but she looks pretty cool. Look at the details in her eyes. Oh, they're almost like come to life. Yeah, they're really really lifelike, and I like the shading on her face. She's got the lipstick and everything, and the chin strap goes under her chin. She's got the necklace, which has like a little lock on it, or is it a cat face? It might be a cat face. Um, that's pretty cool. She's got the zipper um, jacket down. And there's the back of it. So she's got the different textures you can see throughout her cat suit. And um, that gives it that really cool um, effect. You know, makes it, uh, makes it kind of look really um, like the leather or whatever that she wears with the different yeah. um, textures. And then look at these shoes. Oh, she's got some high heels. She's going to fight crime in the high heels. It's kind of cool because... she's going to um, <laughs> do crime in the yeah. high heels. Um, it's kind of cool because, like, it makes it more look look more like kind of like Batman with, like, the body armor. Yeah, that's true. Um, than just, like, a It gives the, like a the figure suit. depth. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Uh, <clears throat> it gives her depth. So, all right, go ahead and show off her articulation. All right, so let's take a look. So, she's going to have 22 moving parts like the normal McFarlane. So, she'll have, she has articulation at the neck. So, she can look side to side, down, 
uh, up. Um, she's got articulation at the shoulder and it will rotate as well as extending. She has a bicep, the double elbows, and the dual wrists so they will rotate as well as um, bending. She's got two at the torso, one in the, at the waist and one mid torso so she can get some um, good range of motion there. She's got articulation at the hips and this piece is soft so it will allow it greater range of motion but she has good range of motion at the hips. She has the double knees, the dual ankles so it will pivot as well as twist and of course she does have small toes but she does have <laughs> the toe articulation so very cool. Kitty claws. All right, now let's take a look at the penguin. So the penguin, like I said, also going to come with the base. Um, and then he comes with Solomon Grundy's, looks like, vest. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's got it's a got really something. cool texturing on it. Yeah, and it's got, like, the, the belt, the faux belt back here. Um, that's really neat. And it's got the texturing here. Almost like a burlap look to it, a jean or burlap look to it. Very cool. Um, and then he comes with the head. This is a really cool head sculpt. Take a look at that. Yeah, this should be a fun build-a-figure to, to put together. So he won't have any arms or legs, but we can yeah. put these things together. <laughs> um, all right, and now it's time to take a look at the penguin. So let's take a look at, first of all, his cane looks so cool. I mean, his, his umbrella looks so cool with the penguin head, golden penguin head. And then you can tell it's all strapped up and you see all the the details and the lines like it's all pulled up and there's the tip of it really neat and he can hold it in this hand this hand is a little bit more flat looks like it perhaps has been injured so if you play the game you may know more about that part yeah. than we do um let me take that out of his hand a second so he's got this really cool jacket it's got some really neat texture here that makes it look like a dark fur the um at the collar for his overcoat and here as well around the arms like a black jacket and then there's um like a brown vest under that and a little bit of a green um like an ascot or something yeah. scarf right there um here's his facial sculpt he, he looks, looks angry pretty angry <laughs> and he's got the penguin hat on um he has something under here i think if you see I think it's something to do with the game. I don't know if I can show you, but anyway, there's something like a tag down there, either a necklace of some sort or a branding or something. Um, pretty cool that they got that detail. And then he's got his spats, which is like gray and white. Um, and his his uh, pants are dark, dark blue, like a navy blue. So pretty cool. All right, let's show off his articulation. All right. So he's going to have a different. Yeah, he will have um, some different um, points of articulation, but he will still have uh, the neck articulation, so he can look back and forth and, of course, look down. The hat will, of course, limit in the way he's made. He can't really look up because he's got like a hunch back here, but um, he does have articulation at the shoulder. He has the double elbows and the same thing with the dual wrists, so they will... It's a little um, impeded by the the the, uh, the cuff there, but they will go back and forth as well as bending. He has a point at the waist, and it's more like of a, a rocker, so it will go side to side. It will kind of go forward and backward and side to side as well as twisting. Um, he does have articulation at the hips. Um, it is a little impeded by the coat, but of course that's to be expected. Um, he has a single knee joint, but it does twist as well as bending and then of course the ankle um, and the ankle of course is also impeded by the pant leg but you know the penguin's not known for his acrobatic <laughs> ability so it's kind of to be expected and of course he does have also has the toe articulation so awesome penguin figure all right and then i forgot to show off his uh card so he, here's his collector card and it's really cool artwork. Um, he's holding his umbrella and the, the city in the background. And here's his data file. So if you want to pause and read all about the penguin, um, a.k.a. Oswald Cobblepot, you can read about him. 
uh, his pat and you know his backstory and how he became the penguin. All right, so there's one last look at... At Catwoman and Penguin from Batman Arkham City. So we want to say another great big thank you to... McFarlane Toys. For sending these to us for free to share with you today. It sure has been fun taking a look. I love some of these side characters and their details. Really, really amazing. Yeah, and stay tuned because they also sent the Batman and the Ra's al Ghul figures that are part of this wave too. So we'll be able to... Show those off and then build that Solomon Grundy. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.